these four cakes came out of these two boxes. And today I'll show you an awesome way to decorate this that I'll have everyone thinking that you made this from scratch. Let's get started. <sighs> Now I baked all of these cakes in a six inch round cake pan. Now you can totally use a different size, it's just that I found this itty bitty cake stand. Look how little it is. And I thought that it would be perfect for this cake, so that's what we're gonna use it with. So I mixed both boxes and then I divided up equally to fit into four of these cake pans. Now because it's super thick, I baked it at a lower temperature of 325 degrees and I baked it for a longer time, about 45 minutes. And then after they cooled, I just leveled them out with a cake leveler to make sure that they're the same height all the way around. Now usually I would soak all of my cakes in simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar, but I was actually eating some cake tops on my couch and I realized that it's already sweet. So I just soaked it in water to make sure that it's moist. Put the water into a Ziploc bag and I just cut an itty bitty hole into the side of it to make soaking the cake easy. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna toast some pecans. To a bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of melted butter, half a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of brown sugar. Now I'm just gonna incorporate these things together and then add 12 ounces of chopped pecans. You wanna make sure all of the pecans are coated in the butter. Now I've got a baking tray here and I've lined it with some parchment paper and I'm just gonna take our pecans and then spread them out on the sheet. I'm just gonna make sure that this whole sheet is leveled so that they cook evenly. Then into the oven at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now while that's baking, we're gonna create some cream cheese frosting. Now to my mixer, I'm gonna add one cup of softened butter, one eight ounce package of softened cream cheese, and one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Now you wanna mix this on low, mix it on low. There's powdered sugar everywhere now. And you're just gonna keep mixing this until it's completely smooth. Hi, this is JK from the future. You're gonna need double the amount of cream cheese frosting because you're gonna run out when you're decorating this cake. All right, that's it. And also, you didn't win the lotto, so. And once it's done, I'm just going to place it into a Ziploc bag. So I took our pecans out of the oven and they've been cooling. And we're ready to put this together, so let's make this baby. First, I'm gonna grab my buttercream. Then I'm gonna cut a one inch hole into the side of the bag. Place a little dot in the middle of my cake stand and then put on my first layer of cake. I'm gonna grab my cream cheese frosting and I'm just going to swirl it into the middle of the cake. Grab another layer and then do the exact same thing. Now with your final layer, I'm gonna flip the cake over and then place it on top. Now once all of it's stacked, I'm just going to readjust it to make sure that all of the layers are straight and that we have a 90 degree angle on the sides as well as the top. And then we're going to ice the entire cake. I'm going to add my buttercream to the top and then work it down the sides. Pipe some onto the sides. Then using an offset spatula, I'm just going to smoothen all of it out. Now don't worry about it being too perfect because we're going to crust the entire thing in pecans. Try not to think of it like icing a cake, but more like applying glue for your pecans. I hope there's leftover because I really want to eat more of these. Now before we crust the entire thing with pecans, I'm going to do a little preparation so that we can decorate the top. I've got a cookie cutter that is about three inches and I'm just going to place it in the middle of our cake. Now my goal is to crust everything with pecans except for the inside of that circle. And if you don't have a cookie cutter, just use a lid. Just use something around. Make, just make sure you clean it, all right? So this is looking really good. Now I'm going to pull off my cookie cutter and I'm just gonna pipe out a rim for the circle. Ta-da! I got too excited, so <laughs> I cut a piece out before I realized that I needed to take pictures. But look at this piece, look at it. That is fantastic. It like barely fits on this cake stand. It is impressive. I almost never eat anything on camera, but I'm gonna eat this because I know it's gonna be amazing. Oh my God, that is so good. Wow, I am, I am amazed. The butteriness of the pecans adds to the creaminess of the cream cheese, which adds to the silkiness of the red velvet, and it's just bomb. This is bomb.com. This is bomb.au. Dot UK. This came out of a box? No way! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me make next, and I will see you very soon. Bye! Now I actually made a smaller version so we know what a regular cake would look like. Look at that, and I didn't eat it yet. <sighs> Wanna see more? Head over to youtube.com slash koalipops. Otherwise, I'll see you back here very soon.